Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and what I got for you today is a review of a neat, this is actually a really neat little quadcopter. This is the Ishin Aurora 90 brushless micro indoor quadcopter. Um, this is one of the first of the brushless to come out that I've seen for made for indoor flying. Um, it does have this nice carbon fiber protective rings around each one of the propeller blades. Um, we have 7,500 kV motors in here. Uh, you know, brushless motors to provide power to these uh, propellers, these tri or quad blade propellers. We got 10 amp ESCs that are incorporated inside the central section here. You know, it's all the um, electronics are bundled up in the central section. You know, the power distribution board, the flight control board, F3 flight control board, by the way, and also uh, the ESCs are, are also in there. So there's nothing on the arms to get damaged in a crash. Um, it comes with a 48 channel, 25 milliwatt FPV transmitter. Um, the two buttons on the, the button on the back is for selecting channels and bands by holding it down for two seconds to go between the bands and a quick press to go between the channels. And there's a button on the front uh, to switch between NTSC and PAL. So for your, you Europeans out there, you can also fly this with PAL. Um, the one thing about this though, that this camera is just lightly held in place by, I believe it's a piece of Velcro in there. So it jiggles around quite a bit and you have to kind of level it. Um, I've seen other people using zip ties and that to strap it in there better, but I, I just have it uh, attached with its original attachment uh, via Velcro. Um, additionally, the receiver antenna was just flopping around. It's a big long wire with the actual antenna on the end here. Um, I recommend zip tying it down to something so it doesn't flop into the blades. Uh, it comes with a 7.4 volt, uh, 450 milliamp hour battery to give it power to these uh, brushless motors. With that in mind, flight time of this is relatively short, about two to three minutes, so keep that in mind. Um, let's see, finally, it comes with Betaflight 3.1.0, which means you can and I, you do get um, air mode with this. So you can fly with uh, angle, air mode, and um, acro. <laughs> now the way it came set up, mine is the DSM-2 version. And the way it was set up in beta flight was up position would be uh, acro, center position would be um, air mode, and bottom position was angle. That's just pass backwards to everybody, the way everybody else sets it up. So I would, the only th uh, changes I made was I put this into acro, switch being all the way up, center position being air mode, and bottom position being uh, acro. Um, for today's flight, I'm going to be trying air mode. I've never flown air mode before, so we're going to give it a try and see how it performs. So, hope you enjoy this flight of the Aurora 90 from Ishin. One thing I forgot to mention, this comes with uh, OSD, so you, can, you should be able to see the OSD information right now. So, I'm in the quadcopter, and let's go up. Yeah, it flies somewhat nicely. Get a handle what works first, see how it feels. Let's go down the field a bit. I do have a little bit of a breeze today. Bring it in close so you can see it. There it is here. We'll go around this tree. Let's pick it up high and try something. Oops. Oh, yeah. Wow. Air mode. That does come into play. Shh, stay. Let's try it again, coming around there this way. <laughs> yes. I think I lost the prop there that time, folks. <laughs> Let's go find it. This is strange, folks. Um, I was pushing it kind of hard there, I guess. And a prop fatigue failed on me. Um, I, you know, I've never seen that happen before. You know, I looked over where the, at the crash site. It's not there. Um, this one here is kind of bent upward too. Uh, I don't know if the prop actually hit anything because this carbon fiber should have protected it very well. So uh, be careful applying too much power on <laughs> these props because I'm not sure these props are meant to take a lot of power. You know, I went up in the air and I, I did a flip and it became uncontrollable there with a spin. So I did probably lost this, this prop here when it you know, I reached the top of that flip. So we'll change these props and we'll come out here again tomorrow and give it another shot. But I hope you enjoyed this part of the flight. So Quadcopter 101, signing out. Okay, this is the next day. Um, I replaced all of those blades, 
I noticed, you know, that one cracked off. I looked at the other blades, and I had been seeing little fatigue uh, failure <laughs> kind of lines right at the base of the hub. You know, like each one of these props had been stressed. I don't know, uh, maybe these motors are just a little bit too much oomph to these propellers. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but we're going to give it another shot today. Uh, but for today's flight, I'm going to strictly be flying acro and just maneuverability flights. I'm not going to do any punch outs for this part of the, uh, the review. So, you know, I want to keep this in one piece for now. Uh, so let's go right into it and do some acro flying uh, with acro maneuverability flying with the uh, little Aurora 90. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, acro flying with the Aurora 90. Setting the arm. And also uh, setting it to acro. We should be in acro. We are in acro. I see on my OSD. And then let's go. Let's try going through the trees first off. Ooh, that sun's not helping it any. <laughs> but I'll try to go avoid these trees. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, this sun showed up, so I'm going to try to go this way. I better get a feel for it first. We are at 7.1 volts already. I've only been flying for about half a minute. I'm keeping an eye on the voltage here, but... This one really sucks the juice, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of juice being sucked out of that battery. But let's see how, far, how much flight time we get just from normal flying. Not aggressive flying at all. Let's go over the top of these trees this time. And then coming back to us. I should stay close since it's so tiny. And I will. Uh, by the way, I lost my landing pad yesterday. For those of you looking for my landing landing pad, I uh, left it out here, unfortunately. <laughs> it came here the next day, and it is gone. But get some speed on this. Let's try some high-speed runs. Oh, it, it is fast. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's fast. <laughs> We're still good, 6.7 volts. I'm going to stop it at about 6.5. But yeah, it's a zippy little thing. Well, it should be with those brushless motors. <laughs> Golly! <laughs> okay, let's bring it in. Let's say it's 6.5. I don't know the accuracy. Oh, there we are. Back to 6.7. Let's stay there. Let's pick it down here one more time. Yeah, let's get some... Let's get a run going here. Oh. Okay, 6.2, coming in. Okay. Well, <laughs> I wasn't even close to my takeoff point. <laughs> so, let me take that, hud. Overall, um, yeah, there's a lot of power in these blades, or in these motors, to this thing. Uh, especially when you want to give it some speed there, you can see uh, it, it could move. Now, I want to take a quick look here. Let me unplug this battery here. My blades yesterday were, you know, had little white marks at the base, but I don't see them today. So uh, maybe, maybe that was just uh, from the crash itself. So I, you know, I'm going to say that all these propeller blades are bad, but uh, just flying manor normal maneuverable acro flying uh, was no problem at all. I don't, I'm not sure what happened with that accident that I had yesterday. So overall, yeah, this is a fast little thing. Uh, if you want it to be outdoors. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 with the Aurora 90. Signing out.